Good morning, guys. Let's quickly mark the classwork that I gave you. Now, it says here, very source limited has authorized share capital of 2 million. Understand, guys, when they say authorized share capital is 2 million, these are the maximum number of shares that a company can issue. And please note that the number of shares issued may not be more than your authorized shares. Authorized shares are simply the maximum number uh, of shares a company may issue. I um, mean, this company was founded on the 1st of March 2019. On the 1st of March 2020, the company had 600,000 issued shares. All right, the balance is on the 1st of March. Basically, um, we had issued 600,000 shares um, at the, obviously the share capital on that will be 2,100,000. And these are the transactions that took place during the year okay the company issued 400,000 shares at 800 cents per share on the 30th of May 2020 please highlight that because it's very important I want you guys to get used to highlighting the date on which shares were issued because later on we're going to be calculating um, dividends uh, more specifically when we calculate interim dividends so you need to pay attention to dates because dividends are normally calculated on the number of shares that has been issued on that specific day when those dividends were declared and paid I'm just I'm um, talking about your interim dividends right um, the company issued a hundred thousand shares additional shares at um, on the 1st of September for seven rent per share which is quite easy guys um, what I want you to understand is that, guys, um, shares, when they are issued, um, the shareholder will have a share certificate as proof that they own those shares. The company in return will have the money that they have received from the shareholders. Basically, on the 1st of March 2020, the money that we have received from the shareholders um, up to that date was 2100000 Okay. However, the shareholders only have 600,000 shares in their hands, okay? So they hold shares and we hold their money. Okay, I need you guys to understand that. Now, let's just mark quickly. Now, your ordinary share capital, you start with your authorized. The number of authorized shares in this case will be 2 million. And the issue, you're going to start with the 600,000 shares that were in issue on the 1st of March 2020. And the share capital on that was 2,100,000. We issued additional shares worth 400,000 shares. Um, and we issued them at 800 cents per share. You need to understand for you to calculate share capital here, you're going to take that 400,000 and multiply it by 800 divided by 100. It 800 cents is the same as 800 divided by 100, which is just 8 rand. And it'll give you, um, it's not supposed to be 3,100, it's supposed to be 3,200. Now, um, we issued additional shares worth 100,000 Rand and we issued them at 7 Rand per share. 100,000 Rand multiplied by 7 Rand will give you that 700,000 Rand. Okay, um, now you're going to add 600,000 plus 400,000 plus 100,000. That will give you 1,100,000. 1, Those will be the shares that we have issued um, on the 28th of February 2020. Please note that these shares are issued at different prices. So I'm actually emphasizing this because it's very important, especially later on when we calculate the buyback of shares, right? Now, this is what we're going to have, guys, at the end of the year. Um, six million share capital. Um, and that share capital of six million is made up of 1,100,000 shares. Now, to question two. It's still very test limited that has an authorized share capital of 2 million. The company was founded on the 1st of March 2019. The company's financial year runs from March to February. Uh, on the 1st of March 2021, um, share capital was 6 million. 50% um, of shares were in issue at the beginning of the year. Okay, meaning that, guys, this 6 million is made up of only 50% of authorized shares that were issued. We only issued 50% of authorized shares, okay? Um, let me just go through this in detail. The company issued an additional 200,000 shares at 70 cents per share on the 1st of June. 
that is actually very important on the 1st of June 2021. Um, okay, now in this case, we have issued another 200,000 shares. Please remember that we had authorized shares of 2 million. We issued 50% of that. 50% of 2 million will be a million. And now we issued additional 200,000 shares, meaning that now with authorized shares, we're only left with 800 thousand shares okay now that is quite easy for you to calculate share capital on that two hundred thousand you're gonna take that two hundred thousand and multiply it by 70 divided by 100 it will give you a share capital now the last part says issued 30 percent of the remaining shares at 205 cents per share on the 30th of january 2022 now if we issue 30 percent remember the remaining shares guys um it was two million we minus the 50 percent that we issued all right at the beginning of the year and now we minus the 200,000 shares that we issued on the 1st of June we are left with 800,000 um, of that 800,000 authorized shares that we're still left with uh, we need to multiply that by 30% um, to determine the number of shares that we issued on the 30th of January 2022 now let's get to the solution Authorized shares is 2 million. At the beginning of the year, guys, we had issued um, a million shares, and I did show you how we issued, how I calculated that million. It's simply 50% of 200,000. It'll give you a million number of shares, and the share capital on that will be 6 million. And then we issued 200,000 additional shares at 70 cents. Now, to calculate share capital, you're going to take that 200,000 and multiply it by. Um, it's actually 200,000 multiplied by 70 cents, and then it's going to give you 140. 70 cents, it's simply 70 divided by 100. And then we issued more shares, which is um, 800,000 shares um, were issued, and basically it's just actually 800,000 shares. Those are simply the remaining number of shares that we haven't yet issued, but we issued 30% of 800,000, and 30% 30 of 800,000 is 240, and these shares were issued at 205 cents per share now to calculate your share capital you're going to take that 240 and multiply it by 205 cents divided by 100 it will give you 492,000 okay and that's you will be your share capital at the end, guys, this 1,440,000 is made up of 1 million plus 200,000 plus 240. It'll give you this 1,440,000, and your share capital will be um, 6,600,000. 32,000, which is 6 million plus 140,000 plus 492,000.